Hello there, driver. Could you take me to the roundabout train station, eh? Oh, I'm sorry, eh? I didn't mean to cause a kerfuffle. I'm just trying to get to the train station, eh? Oh, I'm still new to this revolving thing. Take it easy, eh? What? No, this is my first time in this limousine. What are you getting at, you hoser? All the drivers in your country this route? Why don't they get out of your way? have anything like this back home. Wowee, that was some fast driving. And so friendly, too. Oh, I've seen her. She was the nice young lady at the fair. Well, we had no idea how to get around, so she showed us how to get to all the stalls, and uh, and she won me this here prize. Uh, so anyway, I uh, mustn't be late for my train now, so uh, goodbye! What is it, kid? You had a barely passable Canadian passenger drop a clue about Beth's location? Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go, Giorgio. She could be anywhere in the fairground. Try over near the pirate ship. Height. Jump on those carousels. Wait, I think I see something. Over by the arena. Okay, Manos, nowhere to run. Stop with the spinning and start with the stepping out of the car. Ah, uh, looks like we've got a good old fashioned destruction derby on our hands. Now, kid, listen up. Three against one ain't great odds. I have a plan though. Just keep them off us as long as you can while I get ready.
The only way we're gonna win is if I punch those cars out myself. I didn't become a mechanic just to fix cars, you know? With these Limarama special gloves, I'll be able to hold the police back while you go and find that. Let me out here. You want a piece of me, cops? Let's go! Hey, Cheese Weasel, it's Disco Sylvan. I said I'd be your wingman, and I meant it. That Beth cat you're looking for? She's over by the cable cars. I mean, Disco Sylvan would never ride a cable car, but... Oh, you want directions. Right this way, Giorgio. Jump across the ice. You might be able to head her off. Manos, this is the G-Op. You're on thin ice. Won't stand for this cold shoulder. Our station is real close now. Okay, Cheese Weasel, this is as far as I can take you. Disco Sylvan don't do heights. These dancey shoes stay firmly on the ground. Oh, yeah. Go chat with the ranger. I'll be in town with Mrs. Disco Sylvan if you need anything. Go get her, champ. Giorgio couldn't believe Beth was so close. Just one perilous hill ascent stood in the way of writing what had gone wrong. <laughs> Thank goodness you finally came. I thought the rescue team would never arrive. And you aren't the rescue team. Damn it, Stacy, you're gonna be trapped here. Unless, hey, you wanna do some more work for the Parks Department? Oh, thank you so much. Well, we had a bit of a structural problem with the cable cars. Well, the cable bit, I hear that's kind of important. We need to get to the top and shut off those cable cars. The thought of Beth being in trouble and an urgency to what would normally be a routine saving people in distress ride.
yourself in. If you come peacefully, no one will fault you if you transform. Only human. If you turn yourself in and tell us your angle on this murder, you can still avoid the brunt of the punishment. Show some compassion. We did it. We saved the roundabout cable cars. We're not going to get any credit, of course, but we saved some lives at least. Oh, you mean her? Giorgio knew that this was it. One last ride, and one oh, very yeah. special passenger. Yeah, I need to head to Roundabout Gorge. Giorgio! Sorry, I didn't call. Uh, things just got so well, you know, with the with the death and, and the police and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Giorgio. I I panicked and you disappeared and well here we are. So uh yeah. I was was gonna go to Roundabout Gorge. Do you wanna take me? but I just can't deal with all this twisting and turning around, around everything. Can you just be straight with me? Can we at least start there, Giorgio? Even just for a few seconds? See? You're doing it! Kinda. Giorgio struggled. Driving straight felt wrong. Awkward. Like a really bad $2 glove. You can't escape. Accept your limitations, Monos. Giorgio. Cool it, men. Hold your fire. The hostage is leaving the vehicle. Ma'am, just walk over here and, uh, ma'am? Well, if I'm gonna do this, then I'm at least riding in the front. Look, Giorgio, I'm sorry. Just, just be you, okay? After all, that's the Giorgio that I fell for. You know, I, I heard that in Tijuana, they have a four-lane roundabout. That sounds like a fun time. Come on, let's go! We've got the police behind us, the border in front of us, and a whole lot of spinning in the way. Let's go, Giorgio! Now, I bet you're wondering what happened to everyone after all of that tomfoolery. Well, Jeffrey returned to his home planet. Rinaldo died. I thought we made that pretty clear. There was that explosion and the news. Remember? Mickey survived his altercation with the demolition derby, moved to the UK, and became a huge famous mechanic guy. He even started his own band in the late 80s. And Beth and Giorgio, well, that's a tale for another day. It 
says here that Tijuana can get up to 120 degrees in September. We should probably get AC installed. Okay, I spy with my little eye something beginning with G. Man, you're no fun. Oh man, do you think we'll drive past your big taco? Giorgio, come on, it's a 40 foot taco with a taco restaurant inside. How can we not stop there for a break? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Giorgio. Do you think we should change our name to throw the police off our trail? I could be John, the vivacious astronaut dancer, and you could be, um, Giorgio, my astronaut dancer chauffeur who is secretly a five star fondue chef. It's a foolproof plan. I found you. Oh, you're never gonna be alone again, eh? Okay. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna get married there, huh? And uh, uh, we're gonna play lots of games, and we're gonna eat lots of maple syrup, and uh, and uh, I don't know where the moose is, but we'll find him too, and we'll have a good old little party with our uh, with our moose friend there, and uh, then we'll have a uh, we'll have a you know we'll move into a nice house, and we'll have some kids, and this is getting weird, isn't it? Because you're not even first of all you're a dog, and that's weird, but you're also an inanimate object, and Biologically, it just can't function that way. So, um, no, it's just awkward then. But, hey, I'm glad you're back. Hey, oh, I love you. I missed you then, huh? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. 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 Maple leaf for life.